What's up internet, Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film, and today I have a tutorial on DaVinci Resolve, and one of the key components I'll be focusing on is the qualifier. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be going for a very clean look, um, and I'll be showing you guys how to achieve a look like that, um, and as you see on the screen right now, that's the look we'll be going after. And also, you can download this clip in the description, and you can follow along, or just see what it's like to have raw footage. Okay, let's get started. Right now I'm in the color tab of Resolve and it's time to begin the grade. The first step to color grading is to level out your footage. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that by going to the color wheels and start playing with the exposure a little bit. I'm going to just adjust the lift just a tad. going to adjust the gamma just a touch. Get those levels where I want it to be. Then I'm going to touch the gain a lot to really get that clean look. Okay, perfect. If you look at your waveform, um, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and create a new node and let's get to the saturation and contrast. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase this contrast just a little bit. Um, and I'm really going to punch up the saturation because we're really trying to make all the colors pop out, but also retain a very clean and well exposed look. So I'm just going to type in 92. Um, so that's really warm. So the next thing we're going to do is create a new node. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out this warm, this warm, yucky feeling to this image. So I'm going to go to gamma and we're going to drag it down to the blue a little bit to cancel out that warm. And you see it does a pretty good job. A little bit more maybe. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I think we just got to expose the image a little bit more. That's it. Um, so I'm going to go to curves in my new node. Um, make sure gain custom curves is unchecked. And then I'm just going to increase the luminous just by a touch. Okay, that's... I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so now for the main key component of this tutorial is the qualifier tool. And really what we want to do is isolate certain colors and really make them pop. So I'm going to create a new node and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the qualifier tool right here. And with it selected, just select any color that you want on your image. In this case, I'm going to start with this rose shirt. Click it. And then I'll show you in a second. We can see what's highlighted. So only this shirt is highlighted. We might want to play with these settings a little bit, like go to soft and kind of increase it just by a touch. And it'll kind of bring in there. If it's not perfect, you can uh, click the plus tool here and just click the grayed out areas and it'll add it back into the image. Okay, that's pretty good. Not everything's going to be perfect, um, but usually if it's close enough, it's going to look great. So what I'll do is I'll just increase the saturation on the piece of clothing here. So just increase, increase the saturation with the node. It's a little too much. Uh, sometimes if you do it way too much, it's going to start to look uh, grainy. It's going to really, you're going to see the artifacts in your image. So be careful when you do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this view. Okay, so as you see that's really, that's actually looking pretty nice. So if I hide it, you can see the difference before and after. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start selecting new color. So um, let's start with our shirt right here. I'm just going to make sure you got the qualifier tool selected and not the plus or minus in the color range. Um, so I'm going to click her shirt and it's just going to select I guess the orange pixels um, and then I'll just go ahead and I'll increase the saturation just by a bit. That looking pretty good, that's looking pretty good. Alright, new node and I'm doing this on new nodes every time so for each color I have a new node I want to select this teal color in the background and then I'm going to increase the saturation Okay, so create a new node. I'm going to kind of get the blue pixels out, especially right here in the foreground. It's not going to do much of a difference for this shot, but just to kind of show you how many different colors you can pick and really saturate individually. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm actually going to use the gain tool, and it's okay. Um, you can actually use the uh, color wheels, and I'm going to just pull down the gain a bit. It's actually a little bit more powerful than the saturation, so you got to be careful. And you can also actually change colors but I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so this image is looking pretty good. Um, I think I can make the yellow pop out of this ball a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to show you a quick little technique that we can do to cancel off other colors that come into our image that we don't want. Okay, just going to select that color. Push this up a bit. I'm still using the gain here. Probably want to be just a little bit careful on it. Okay, so if we go ahead and we hide what's not been selected, we'll see that the image has been, other parts of the image has been selected. Okay, 
if we hide what has not been selected, we'll see that other parts of the image um, has been selected that we don't want. So what I'll do is I'll click on the mask window and I'll click on shape. It'll be a square or I guess it pops as a rectangle. Okay. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and drag that to the top. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and adjust this a bit. That's pretty good. So and just one last thing that we could do, um, this is not something I would want to do for this shot in particular, but um, I'm going to select her skin tones and just kind of isolate them. And we'll just show you how to do that real quick. I mean, you just it's the same concept. You just click on the skin and um, it'll appear. Which You just click on the skin and there you have it. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you real fast. So it's really messy. We could just create some mask and do some tracking. Um, but I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. I actually have a previous tutorial that you could watch that where I do that. Um, but just show you guys that you can select pretty much any type of pixel that you want, any group of pixels that you want, um, and be able to individually color correct them. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys can use some of these techniques on your own footage. Um, if you guys want to take a look at the short film that I had the opportunity to direct and produce, um, there's a link in the description. Um, also, I'll be producing a whole bunch of new uh, tutorials coming in the future, um, more DaVinci Resolve, and of course I want to move on to other uh, filmmaking programs, so if you guys want to check out what I'm going to be bringing your way, um, please subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.